All right, CBT lesson for Kin. This is Def Leppard with Lady Strange. Um, up to the two minute. Um, I didn't write it on your paper. Right up to where the main guitar solo starts. So um, everything's tabbed out, three pages, and everything's notated, very thorough. So I caught the intro solo, all the rhythms, and the little lead fills that come in. And you were really wanting that. Uh, that um, part that comes in at 225. Oh, it went 225 to 240, and that's where we stopped. You want to tune standard for this? And um, man, I love Def Leppard. I mean, this this is my roots, like right when I started playing guitar. So section one, we have five sections here. Section one um, with that intro solo. That's what we're going to work on first. That goes two times through, um, starting from one second in. Um, 11G, you want to bend that a whole step. Use your third finger, back it with a couple. The reason you want to back it with a couple is to help strengthen that bend. Um, and that you'll, when you see guitar players bend, a lot of times you'll see more than one finger, more often than not, helping to stabilize that bend, strengthen it and it makes doing vibratos easier and all that stuff. So we're bending it a whole step, which means a two fret bend. That's the target that we're aiming for. Have a short rest and then 11 vibrato. And uh, Steve Clark, probably more so than Phil Collin, had that real quick kind of, more of an Angus Young kind of vibrato. And I think it was him that did the solo, I think. But a vibrato is a vibrato. They're mo mostly, you know, guitar players are char characteristic to one or the other. Um, I'm a guitar teacher, so I'm used to doing the different kinds of, of vibratos. My more natural one's more loose, like you know, Dave Murray, Malmsteen kind of vibrato. But everyone has their own little technique of vibratos. So we have 9G. Now we're going to switch to first finger. And then 8, 6 on the same string with the same finger, finger one. So, and then eight, nine on the G with vibrato. Okay, that's the midpoint of this. Then you're gonna repeat the first part, actually most of it. Except this time when you go to the eighth fret, you're gonna slide it a whole step flat from eight to six. And the ending's different too. 9G to 7D. So we have on the second half. So, so that's section one as far as the lead, intro lead. They do that two times. The second time, the only difference is you don't slide from eight to six. You don't go, you can hear them pick that. Or, that's the only difference. All right, section two comes in. This is the main rhythm. And it goes like this. I'll play it one time through for you. This comes in at 14 seconds. Again. They're all power chords. They're all two string power chords. A lot of times rock, metal bands, actually any style. It seems like they will go bigger with their power chords, add the octave to it. Uh, these are just, two, you can hear the root and the fifth note of the scale, straight up power chord. 4A, 6D. Fingering, I wrote down for you, Ken. You can, uh, you got the liberty to kind of decide what you're the most comfortable with. We know we want our index. You decide whether you want pinky or third finger for that. And I like to mute the above string um, when I'm doing power chords, just to make sure to keep things clean. So we're gonna go three times on those two strings. We're gonna angle that pick and then rest. You see a line with the X to stick your hand over the strings. And then two more times and then move it flat a whole step to two, four AD two times, then rest. So you have, so beat wise, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, then back up to 4, 6 AD into open 2 AD. And this is another four, four count, then a rest. All right, so we have 
And then 4, 6, A, D twice with the rest. 2, 4, E, A twice with a quick rest. And then just drop it down a string to A and D, 2, 4. So our chords are C sharp, a B, and these are all five chords, is another word, uh, the slang word for that is power chords. C sharp, uh, B, we have an A5, we have a F sharp, and a B. So that's kind of the chord outline that carries through a lot of the song. Riff 1 um, comes in and this is the second time through over that rhythm and rather than just say keep playing that rhythm I was going to show you the little wrists that are being played which is oops it's a unison bend to me it sounded like a unison bend I have a good ear I had to keep rewinding that um, and I had to make a decision because he's in and out of there really quick but it sounds like a unison bend sounds like two strings so you'd go one um first finger 9b third finger 11g back that with the middle finger on 10g or anywhere behind it but naturally 10th fret we're going to pick both those and bend the g string a whole step i know it sounds a little flat because i got a floating tremolo here so i have to like but you'll know if you hear waves you're out and then 9g vibrato 11 D rest slide so oops that's 22 seconds that's your timestamp at 26 seconds so the next thing that comes in is a quick fret hand mute um, with a 12th fret a string slide you'll go in other words we're gonna cover go up here to fret 12 on the a but don't push down maybe set a few fingers down we're gonna I would go up you just want a, a dead string and then down on the 12 a slide and the same concept over here on the D string we want to mute above fret 4 do an upstroke and then apply pressure on fret 4 and bend it a whole step and it's a long bend there so and you you know just there's your mute and then we've got two E first finger two A twice with a whole step bend that's it for the riff section section three comes in the main hook melody in this song which is so catchy it goes and I gotta turn the paper over page two I think I remembered page one we have um, so yeah let's break it down you'll go two four on the A two one on the D and four two on the A six notes and this is on the it's not on the downbeat it's on the and so it's like do 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 chord do 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 and then play it again but the last note is an open a instead of a two a okay then play it again but um now instead of an open a go to a two e so we have a b for the end an a for the end and an f sharp for the end all those other notes are the same and then this is kind of the only altered one here you would go um 4e 24a 2d let's start with that that's that part and then move back to one uh, first fret on the D and then middle finger to a now you're gonna repeat all that but the second time in other words you're gonna see in your tabs they'll say section three no star and the star is just uh, this 4a you won't play that the second time 
Then we go to section two three times. That's, uh, what was section two? Oh yeah, that was the power chord part. Um, and then this part, which is very much like that, but they're letting the chords ring. Four, six, A, D, three times. Let me play it once. That's going to be section four. Like I said, the chords are the same as section two. Four, six, A, D, three times. Ring, two times. Over to two, four, two times. Go four six and open two, two times each. Back to four six twice, and an open E. This open E is just a transitional note that a lot of bands do to jump from one chord to the next. And that'll be two four E A two four A D. Pay attention to beats. Make sure your beats are right. You don't want to go. It's one and two or three and four and however you need to count that. Then we go to section three two times, second time no star. Then section two or um, some more lead riffs, which we're, I figured you wanted the lead riffs. A minute and 27, we have this. It's a double stop, bar the ninth fret on the G and B with your first finger. Um, let me play the riff. Oops. Sounds like something from uh, Michael Jackson beat it, doesn't it? Um, fret hand muting involved. After this 9GB, we're going to just relieve the pressure, drop some fingers, and go down up. And just three or four strings, it's not a big deal. What's important is the effect of that mute. You don't want to go. It's not like that. So, and then do the nines again, but this time half step bend or just slight bend. Think of it that way. Brace the thumb over here and keep that pressure and dig into the neck and pull those both those strings down. Eleven D vibrato, and that's it. At one thirty, we have. And that's just an accent off of the chords, but I wanted to show you them because I can hear it clear as day. 2 4 E A, twice slide. And then same thing on the A and D. At 135, we have a palm muted open E string. And then 2 A, half step bend release, full step bend vibrato. So it's. Then to finish that off, we have something that was similar to that other double stop riff we did, which was. Barred seventh fret E and B. Fret hand mute, so we relieve the pressure, drop the fingers, go down up, apply the pressure again, and then 9G. Rest, slide, slow down. Cool. Uh, minute 45, this is the last riff of the riff raft section. It goes. So let me show you that. It's using some techniques. Um, 2E, pick, hammer to 4. Down up, second fret D. It's a good subgroup. You can go. Oops. And it's kind of a quick riff, so. And then four D, three downs. The third one, pull off to the second fret. So you're gonna want that finger ready. Four A twice. Second fret, open, two opens, second fret twice on the E, second fret three times on the A, faster. So, 
All right, so that last riff. Then we have some repeats. Section three, four times. Fourth time, no star one. You'll see about that. Okay, now the part you are really looking forward to, which I love this part too. To me, it's very similar to something Iron Maiden would do. Old Def Leppard, man, was pretty heavy. Um, for the time, man, no doubt. Good stuff. Section five, 225 into the song. Before you get to that, there's a long pick 